evening all. How are we all? Hope ever I say evening. I guess, I guess it's technically Saturday, so hello, welcome to uh, this week's vlog. Hope everyone is uh, is doing all right. Um, not feeling all right. Uh, the shift that we just did all went off uh, pretty well. Um, managed to you know not make any mistakes, which was good. Uh, yeah, on the whole, just not too bad. Um, sorry, I must apologise if I'm if I burp or uh, you know any of that sort of thing, because um, there was quite a lot of uh, sort of leftover uh, beer and cider and stuff tonight. Um, so manager thought it would be a good idea to have a kind of mock trial kind of thing. Um, Basically, where we'd have to go up, and crime uh, charges were laid against us, and um, you know, then we was made to, uh, then we were sentenced accordingly by uh, having to drink pints of beer, cider, uh, stuff from the drip trays, um, you know, all that, <laughs> and you know, it was, it was all good fun. Um, but I hate beer and cider. <laughs> and now that's all I can taste in my mouth, and it's like <laughs> the charges that were brought against me. Oops, walked into a tree. That wasn't one of them. The charges that were brought against me was uh, being the newbie. Um, you know, pleaded guilty because I was, um, and also uh, it was then asked uh, ev everyone who had had charges brought against them was able to. Uh, bring charges to someone else and when I was asked I said no no charges so charges were brought against me for not having charges to bring against someone else um, and you know it was, it was good fun I, I mean I didn't <coughs> didn't really enjoy it because of beer and cider and my flaky relationship with them to uh, to say the least but you know, as a thing, it was it was enjoyable. It was just <laughs> didn't enjoy the punishments talk, which is you know that's what punishments are, I suppose. Um, so there you go. If I if I burp, uh, I apologise. If I seem a little bit drunk, then maybe I am. <laughs> um, you know, I, I'm a bit of a lightweight anyway. When I've Oh, what was it? It was like probably two pints of beer and cider, which, you know, doesn't sound like a lot, but downed relatively quickly, in quick succession, and then all of a sudden you're brought out into the uh, into the outside atmosphere. It all kind of adds together, <laughs> and um, it, it, it all contributes, basically. Um, so that's... Oh, that's that. The shift, the shift did go well, um, and then there was that ending. So all in all, everything was good. I also had charges brought against me for ha for, for for committing the heinous crime of, in the uh, in the prosecutor's words, having nice hair. <coughs> oh no! There we go. You see, <coughs> it was gonna happen eventually, and there it is. I apologise. <coughs> Many times I apologise. Um, yes, the uh, I, the prosecutor said, I bring charges against Nick for having nice hair. You know, bit of a backhander. <laughs> All in good fun. And um, then the judge said, I am changing the charges and I am charging you for using hair straighteners and hairspray. Um, which, you know, I do. I. I have to, because if I don't, then my hair is far too wild, you know. And I was I was told by by this very same assistant manager or very same manager, sorry, who was judging to make myself look presentable for work. So you know, I, I, I make my hair look nice to make myself look presentable, and apparently now it's a crime. Maybe I'm now from now on I'll just come in with wild, bedraggled straw hair or something. But yeah, that's uh, that's all that. I'll see you a little bit later on for the rest of Saturday's vlog after I do my teaching later on. Because, you know, like I say, it's, uh, it is 
technically Saturday now. So I'll see you later on after I've taught some children or, or, or something like that. Or maybe I'll see you a bit later on in the walk if something interesting happens. Maybe, I don't know. I will see you at a later point in time anyway. That much is certain. That and taxes. That is also certain. So, I know this is probably a little bit confusing. Um, the previous clips were technically Saturday, you know, Saturday morning, early Saturday morning. And these clips that you're watching now are being filmed on Sunday, but I'm going to include them in the Saturday part, just because it's a bit easier to do it that way. So, hopefully that's cleared things up for you. Just view this as Saturday. Oh dear. A storm be a ruin. No exaggeration. <laughs> um, you know, checking the weather reports recently, apparently there is a storm coming. And uh, 80 mile an hour winds are predicted for the, uh, basically the south coast. Um, which fortunately we're not there. You know, we're in the south, but not on the south coast. 80 mile an hour winds. It's going to be pretty hectic. But uh, we'll have to see over the next few days what goes on. Things could get wild. Literally wild. How was tonight's shift? It was all good. All good. Um, no problems. Well, actually, no, there was one problem. Um, at the end, when we was putting everything away, I uh, was putting all the glasses away and um, picked up a glass and uh, it exploded in my hand. You know, just sort of picked up the glass and it exploded all over my hand. And because of where I was holding it, all over my face. That's, yeah, I, I've had a glass explode in my face. I'd only ever really heard stories of glasses exploding um, because of when they get too hot or something like that. It's, um, I can't remember what the technical name is, but we'll, we'll call it thermal shock. So, I mean, basically from when something goes from being really cold to really hot really quickly, that temperature change can cause, you know, the atoms that make up that thing to vibrate too much and then they cause the object to explode, which is something similar presumably happened with this glass. So I just picked it up, getting ready to put it away, <laughs> explodes in my hands, explodes over my face, and uh, fortunately, actually, I think I came off pretty, pretty okay. There wasn't really any major injuries. Um, I got a little, like the tiniest, weeniest cut on one of my fingers, and that was pretty much it. Um, it didn't even bleed all that much. It was just it bled a bit, and washed it, problem solved. Um, and I think I got rid of all the little bits of glass dust and all that sort of thing because they can that can stick around for a while. But I think I got rid of most of it. Um, so yeah, don't don't worry too hard if if indeed you were worried at all. Yes, a glass exploded in my hand and over my face, all up my arms and everything, but. I am fine. You need a towel. And so, in accordance with the fact that I will probably need to dry you off several times, I'm going to end Saturday's part of the vlog here for today. Sunday, what are we doing on Sunday? Not a whole lot. I'm working in the evening, uh, 6 till half 10, I think is the plan. Um, so, working in the evening, but during the day, nothing recovery rest because uh, I feel quite tired um, you know while I was working today teaching I was kind of like ugh you know half asleep but um, oh how did that go I didn't tell you about the teaching it's completely slipped my mind um, again all good no no problems still enjoying it still having good fun still boosting in confidence I just got proper big raindrop on my hood uh, but confidence still on the upswing which is wonderful um, huge puddle not suitable for my shoes uh, the things are just going well which is grand so 
I'll see you tomorrow for a restful day and uh, probably not going to be that busy night but a night when I shall oh god why well, it was the big gust of wind as I was walking under the trees covered in rain <sighs> yeah I'm gonna see you tomorrow I mean I was offered a lift home from work but I declined because uh, you know partly because I enjoy the walk Partly because I enjoy the rain and being out in the rain. I can't remember the technical word for it. There was a technical word for someone who enjoys rain, and I can't remember it. Um, but, I, uh, but anyway, I'm one of those persons. Don't say weird. That is not the word. <laughs> but, you know, I enjoy the rain. I can't enjoy being out in it. So this should be a really nice walk home. You know, the walk's nice, nothing going on, you know, no cars or traffic anywhere, apart from the one that's just going round the roundabout here. Got the sound of the rain, like once that car stops, or goes away, I'm going to stop talking, right? Yeah, just listen for a little while. This is the soundtrack that I'm going to walk home to, and one of my favouritest soundtracks in the world. Wind running through leaves and rain. I'm thoroughly weird. That puddle there, I swear to God, if this car... Yeah, you better, you better just... Yeah, you don't come this way. I have been splashed by a car too many times. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to have a very nice and relaxing walk home and I'll see you tomorrow for real this time. So I'll see you then. Bye bye. That's also pretty damn cool. Just all the way down. It's brilliant. Well, I think it is anyway. Although I understand I am slightly in the minority. It is Sunday. What's the time? As the wolf was once asked. Well, have a look around. Alright. What time do you think it is? It's five past five in the evening. Five past five and it's dark. Give or take. I think it I think it technically becomes dark when the lampposts turn on. That's that's dark, I think. But yeah, five past five, and everyone's like, oh, it's getting darker early. Uh, getting darker earlier, <laughs> is what they say if they make the mistake I did. Oh, it's getting darker earlier. No, it's not. Really, is it? It's getting darker at the same point in time as it would have gotten dark. It's just the clocks have changed. So, it's getting dark at the same point in the day that it would have gotten dark. It's just thanks to time something that we've all put together ourselves to help us better keep track of these days and stuff that actually it feels like it's getting darker later in the day when actually it's getting darker at the same point in the day but the clocks have had their times all shifted around I am certain that van was aiming for me but anyway well I think we need to make a general rule now on the vlogs no more talk about time because talking about time is when things get confusing yeah, especially with regards to upload times and stuff. No, no, just no time for that. Uh, on my way to work now, thinking it'll be a reasonably quiet shift. Uh, you know, Sunday night, shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I'm hoping that no more glassware explodes in my face. Yeah, that wasn't pleasant, but you know, at least, at least this happened now, I guess. It doesn't quite work the same way where it's all, oh well at least it's happened, it won't happen again. Probably will, many times while I'm working there. Uh, got my uh, got my first paycheck yesterday as well, well, got my first pay slip yesterday. I still need to check with the bank that it's been paid in. Um, oh! <laughs> Suddenly it's all just fitting in together, because I was actually quite concerned, because every time I checked my balance on an ATM there was no payment in and I was like well you know I've been working what's, what's going on and I get the payslip right and uh, on this payslip it has 
all of the hours I've worked since I started which is good you know because that's there so that means that they have kept track of all the hours which is great no reason to be worried and also seeing as how that pay slip uh, was dated the 19th of October and I picked it up yesterday which was the 26th maybe whatever it was whatever day yesterday was you know a couple days after 19th theoretically it should be paid into my bank uh, if it, if it hasn't done already, it should be paid in tomorrow, you know, next business day, Monday. So, theoretically, everything should be fine now. No more, no more need to be worried, which is awesome. Uh, now I just need to work out what to spend wages on. Hmm, I don't know. I'd better earn them first before I think about that. I'm not a frugal person anyway. I don't spend loads of money all the time, so... It probably, they probably won't, they'll probably just sit in the bank for, for ages. Have you noticed my voice as well? I've been doing too much shouting over, over music and stuff to try and hear people in the bar. This is good, you know, maybe it'll kind of finally coax my voice out of the final stage of puberty where it's been stuck for so long. Because if you think about it, you know, uh, especially if you watch some of the other videos and stuff, all the time my voice is cracking and I'll be talking and it goes, high pitched and all that. That was illustrative. So, who knows, maybe now I'm permanently down-tuning my voice and it will stop embarrassingly cracking. We shall see. Um, but I'm going to carry on with my walk. I am thinking I might have a phone call with Taylor because he, he rang me uh, whilst I was at work last night. Um, went and checked my phone after my shift and you know, have some missed calls from him. So have a little catch up with him and uh, hopefully that should take me straight up to the front door and if that's the case damn pizza delivery I'll see you later listen again it's nice I find it de-stressing I haven't got I don't get signal anywhere near my house I have to have my 3g turned on so I can actually have signal at my house uh, funnily enough though, that doesn't actually work outside of my house. As soon as I leave my house, I have to turn 3G off so that I can save battery life because it doesn't do any good if it's on or off anyway. <sighs> Flaming phone. Some menace. Just... We live in an age where people rely on mobile communication. Why has the mobile communication network not been substantiated you know it's a bit lackluster really it needs fixing I'm in one of those moods tonight where anything that winds me up I'll just bite it I've like I say I don't think I've had a great shift obviously I haven't if I feel this bad the rain, the rain is helping. Go away, car. Oh, it's a bus. Oh, you're all right. No, you're not. Keep moving. Spoiling the peace. Is the staff night out, quote unquote. We're, we're all going out for drinks and stuff uh, tomorrow night. Uh, that's the plan anyway. So, I uh, might go to that. I think I will. Um, I just have to work out what the plan is first. So, I'll see you tomorrow, and I'm going to wrap up the rest of today. Today! <sighs> Flaming voice! <sighs> I'm going to wrap up the rest of today, and I'll see you tomorrow. And I'll leave you with a view of the street. There you go. Enjoy. Good night. Good morning! It is a Monday, and... It is the, uh, the day after the storm before um, last night. It, uh, it came. The storm came, apparently. It was uh, apparently very windy and apparently very rainy. And the only reason I say apparently is because I slept all the way through it. You know, being the vigorous storm that it was, everyone slept through it. All of the chaos and destruction on the roads 
can be seen for miles and even as I left my house there was a man and he'd, he'd been crushed by leaves and he grabbed hold of my ankle and he went the storm and then he died honestly no it was really nothing to get worked up about at all it was all just basically a big government conspiracy so that the train operators could have an extra bit of lay-in because none of the trains in the country were working until 10 o'clock this morning which was about an hour ago so that's that's all it was really <laughs> No, in all seriousness, it was very windy. I had my window open like a tiny little fraction like that uh, when I went to bed. And when I wake up in the morning, it's been blown right open. So, you know, it was definitely windy. And also in the back garden, it looks like there's a bunch of roof tiles that have fallen off. One, couple, one of the benches in the back garden have fallen over. Um, like I say, roof tiles look like they've fallen off the roof, but they certainly weren't there yesterday anyway. So... You know, there was a degree of bad weather, but we, we, we can handle it, you know. This is England, after all. We're, we're good at all that sort of stuff. We're good at bizarre weather. And now I'm just kind of looking around, trying to see if there's any more carnage for me to witness. But it, honestly, nothing. Nothing anywhere. And it's almost a little bit disappointing, considering the amount of hype it got. I know hype's probably the wrong word, but the amount of fuss that was made over it. And that's often the case. You know, that's certainly my experience anyway. The more hype something gets, or the more someone fusses over something that's going to happen, when it does, it's inevitably naff. <laughs> ah, now that's a bit more like it. A little bit of... A broken branch there, obstructing the path. That's what we want to see. A bit of carnage at last. How dangerous it is. Scary stuff. Oh, look, and there's more. Wow. Thank God for carnage at last. Now, what I couldn't show you was that there was actually a couple of... Couple... What I couldn't show you was that there were a couple of trees that had fallen down in the children's park behind me. As well as that one there. But there were a couple of... I say trees. There were a couple of branches that had fallen down uh, in the children's playground behind me. But obviously I can't show you that because uh, there are kids in there. And um, for some reason people get a bit funny when you... We do. <clears throat> now, what I couldn't show you for obvious reasons was that there were some branches that had also fallen down in the kids' playground. Um, so, you know, at least now... Oh, and I guess, I guess the fence falling over here, that's quite calamitous. Um, yeah, but, I mean, I don't know how we're going to recover from that. I especially don't know how we're going to recover from that. That's, that's, that's some major, major drainage work that needs to happen right there. Which isn't good. It's not good. We, we really need to make sure that weather like this doesn't happen again. Because if, you know, if stuff like that keeps happening, then well, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do as, as, a, as a country, as, as a people. I mean, look, we've got water flooding along here. Check it out. I mean, actually, when it gets over to there, there is a considerable moisture on the ground, which I now have to walk through, which isn't good. But I think, I mean, as as devastating as the storm has been, I think we'll be okay. It has just occurred to me that actually all of this cynicism that I'm pointing in direction of this weather may not be justified at the moment, but if, you know, I happen to be watching the news later or I hear some news or something like that, that actually there's been some quite terrible things that have happened as a result, then I may feel slightly bad. Yeah. Not sure what can be done then. Actually, that's the benefit of editing. Because... What I can do is, obviously I won't start putting all this together for the, until a few days later. So, 
if it transpires that something tragic happens as a result of this weather, then I'll just edit it out. Problem solved. It is getting dark, my friends, which means it's time for me to get ready to head out tonight. Because as I said yesterday, uh, me and a bunch of people from work we're all going out this evening and I don't know, just gonna have a little night out I suppose and I need to get ready for it and all that sort of stuff haven't got to leave just yet but I have got to leave at some point obviously I don't know what's wrong with me it's very cold as well so I'm gonna go and get ready and then I'll probably see you a little bit later on for a summary or something like that I'll just let you know how it goes so I'll see you later on. Bing! Running out of ways to do it now. What a lovely night out it is for a night out. That was a sentence that made sense. Um, no, it's nice. It feels wintry. It's, it's cold, but I'm warm at the moment. Um, it's quite bizarre, actually. I just saw a man out for a jog, and he was wearing a vest and shorts. It's late October. And he was wearing a vest and shorts. Right, here's me wearing a t-shirt, a shirt, a hoodie, a coat, scarf, gloves, trousers, boots. <laughs> and there's him in shorts and vest. What is the world coming to? I mean, he, he was out for a jog, but it's madness. Absolute madness. This is madness. No, this is Sparta. That's if Sean Connery played every character in that film. Um, but yeah, we're heading off for what I'm hoping will be a lovely night out. Um, yeah, we're uh, starting off at O'Neill's. I guess that's going to be like the meeting place because I think that's well, that's somewhere that everyone can definitely get to. I mean, everyone can get there for work. I'm sure everyone can get there to meet everyone. Uh, <laughs> You know, if people can't, then we're having problems, you know. Um, and then I'm not really sure what's going to go on from there, but I'm sure it'll be lovely nonetheless. Yes, it is Tuesday. And I am walking home on, on this Tuesday. Why am I walking home on Tuesday, as opposed to walking home on Monday night, after being out for a few hours, like I said I would? Because I wasn't able to support myself by the end of the evening due to the amount of alcohol I had consumed um, Wow, yes uh, I needed a, a pair of people two of my work colleagues to hold me up uh, and basically drag me home not home even um, I, I was I was very very bad with the amount that I drank. Uh, I was I was called a cab to take me home, and the cab driver went, "I'm not taking him home because I was too drunk." And he thought I'd throw up all over his car, which I very probably would have done. I'll be honest. So uh, my two friend, my two colleagues dragged me back to uh, a third workmate's house uh, who lived nearby. And I spent the night there because I was very stupid and drank far too much. So, lesson learned everyone, don't do it. I don't think I've been that bad for a considerable amount of time. Well, I am going to go home now and under advice from uh, Jay, I'm going to put my feet in some hot water, put my hands in some hot water, and put an hot flannel on my head to try and make this feel better. And I'm going to have a glass of orange juice and, you know, all, all that sort of stuff. Because um, I, I need to feel better. Because I'm working tonight. And I, I don't want to be working, feeling like this particularly. Um, it's going to be interesting. I'm hoping to hear all of the details from last night from other people. I'm working with uh, Adam tonight. Adam will 
no doubt tell me everything I need to know as will everyone else if they turn up for drinks and stuff so how am I feeling am I feeling better well I'm certainly not feeling worse um, Jesus ah uh, yeah um, hmm. this will be a story that I'll tell years down the line maybe um, oh, did I turn this off? Oh, I did uh, yes uh, I haven't really eaten or drank all day he says taking a drink although I have had this drink since about half nine this morning I just haven't been putting it back I did do myself some chicken soup though and uh, had about a quarter of a bowl if that never mind and oh and yeah I, I am working tonight so should be interesting six to eleven um, I have no doubt I'll actually find out a little bit more about last night well that was most definitely a shift at work <laughs> um, it was good on the whole um, things went well no problems really uh, wrapped up really nice and early actually because uh, on weekdays we the bar closes at 11 p.m. and then punters have like 20 or 30 minutes to drink up and get out basically once it reaches half 11 everyone basically needs to be gone and uh, tonight I was out by half 11 we finished cleaning up by about 25 past which is brilliant you know we we'd finished clearing up and gotten out before all the punters were supposed to be gotten out obviously I slipped on a crisp packet okay I slipped on a crisp packet obviously there were no there wasn't anyone left in there when we locked up but you know we was able to finish up really damn quickly which is fine by me because I need to get home now and have some food because it occurred to me I haven't had a proper meal since yesterday lunchtime and I think that might be the problem now do I still feel sick or am I just hungry I don't know I don't really want to find out either but by not finding out I'll just make either problem worse depending on which one it is I did try and go into McDonald's actually I tried to go to McDonald's and just pick up like a little box of chips you know like medium medium portion of chips one pound job done cheap and cheerful if if it came back out then no 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 real loss but of course McDonald's closes at 11 so I was in a bit of a pickle so I'm just walking home and I'm hoping I'll be able to sustenate myself when I get in nothing too much you know normally when I get in I just have a sandwich and be done with it but I'll probably end up doing that again today I think um, I don't know let's see what's in there if I've, I think I have my oyster I could get the bus home make it even quicker probably not wise actually probably not wise so I won't I'll carry on walking it's nice um, plan for tomorrow I have a driving lesson in the morning and then the rest of the day is taken up by my starting my new job as a theatre technician's assistant at my old university at London South Bank University so that's what I'm doing tomorrow will I have time to vlog? who knows? I'll try and do a little bit um, driving lessons at half nine half nine to eleven I need to be in uni for half twelve so I have opportunity to do it you know on the way in I have to be at uni for half twelve and then I wrap up at five so there's a little bit of an opportunity afterwards as well just to let you know how it went and that's probably what what I'm going to end up doing that's the plan for tomorrow and we shall see what happens so until tomorrow i.e. a couple of seconds goodbye hello there how are you lovely weather we're having for this time of year isn't it yes yes it is yes it's sunny um anyway now that, that interlude is out welcome to wednesday 
Hope everyone is doing well. I had a driving lesson this morning, which went not too badly. Not too greatly, in my opinion. Not too badly, though. And, uh, you know, we're not going not gonna to sit and dwell on the badness, because that causes problems, and I don't need problems today. So we're just going to focus on the things that went well, and the things that went well was, you know, I learned things and got to grips with things a lot better, you know. You take your positives away from your negatives. That's the way you do it. Um, so that's what, uh, that's what I did this morning. Now I'm on my way into uni because... Oh, I haven't had to say that for a long time. But yeah, I'm going into uni because today I officially start my job working there as theatre technician assistant. Yeah! Um, and hopefully it's all going to be well. I'm not listening to music, by the way. Uh, I am giving you my full attention as well as the road. Oh, thank you. That's nice of her. She didn't have to let me do that. Um, so there's that. Maybe she just didn't want... She just thought, oh, he's weird. Let him go. But that was nice. You know, not, not everyone on the road's a maniac. She's a maniac, mate. Enough. So yeah, into uni, starting my first day, working as the technician, assistant. The assistant's an important part. Yeah, I'm assisting. And uh, looking forward to it. It's going to be good. Um, you know, I haven't got the same first day nerves that I had when starting at O'Neill's, and I think that's probably to do with the fact that I know who I'm working with, you know, I know I know the members of staff, I know my way around, I know where it is, I'm confident in it all, it'll be fine. Um, so, yeah, that's that's going to be it, I'll have to let you know how it goes later on. Um, but I, I am looking forward to it, hopefully it should be a good year. It, feel, it does feel a little bit odd going back to uni, but also it feels nice as well, you know, it's like going back to the structure that it gave me because you know uni in the same way that school you know you have to get up Monday to Friday and be in for certain times and stuff uh, that's what uni's doing now for me because only the shift for O'Neill's change every week but my hours are fairly fairly fixed for uni which is great because now I've got a bit more structure I can kind of plan out in many ways right having more than one job has actually been quite useful for me because the O'Neill's O'Neill's is late nights. Um, you know, I, I don't generally get in until 1 a.m. Uh, when, when I work there, and that's at the moment. Soon we're getting our license extended so that the pub actually closes at one, which means I won't be getting back until 3 a.m. Roughly. So O'Neill's is late nights, and now that I have this job as well, it's enabled me to say that, you know, I can't work certain evenings at O'Neill's and that's going to be, that's going to be good for me because I won't be tired, <laughs> you know, by doing more I am helping myself to feel less tired. It's weird how things work out, isn't it? <laughs> ah, I, I hope my oyster card still works, actually, because it's a student oyster and I'm not a student anymore. Oh, if it doesn't work then I need to get myself an oyster very quickly, otherwise it's going to be a very expensive year and every wage I earn is going to go straight back into transport for London, if you can call it that. I know that's their name, but it's dubious. It's like having a cleaner called Dirty. So, first day back, how was it? Brilliant, of course. <laughs> Um, I was never in any doubt that it wouldn't be good, you know. Um, it was nice to be back at uni, nice to see people that I know again. Nice to be back in a tech box, you know. It's like a little cave in there. It's a bit of a chilly cave, but it's like a little cave, and it's my cave, and I like it in there. Admittedly, it's full of technical things, which caves aren't really. They're full of boulders and drawings. But it's a bit of a rubbish analogy, but it's... It's just, it's nice being there. The, the only fault I can find with today is the, the travelling on trains. Which is going to be a fault every day. Because I hate trains. And I hate London. Why did I go for this job again? <laughs> but no, it, it was good fun. And I'm going to enjoy getting home. And having dinner with my family. I haven't had dinner with a family. <laughs> with a family? I haven't had dinner with my family 
for what feels like a long time. So that'll all be wonderful. I shall see you tomorrow. Very busy day tomorrow. Start at nine. So we'll, we'll have to see what goes on. But it was all good. So that was that's good. Yeah, see you tomorrow in a few seconds. And by the way, look what I got back. Got another big bottle of water. Haven't had a big bottle of water for quite a long time, actually. And it's... I can't actually remember what happened to the old one, but um, it's nice to have one back. It's nice to be hydrated. It sounds weird, but it, it is good. I, I enjoyed having a bottle of water to chug down over the course of a day. It saves you having to, you know, make drinks, basically. So, it's good, good to be back. Back in black. Down, 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 down. It's a lovely morning, and you might be thinking, yeah, whatever. But no, I, I like this sort of morning. It's, uh, it's quite nice. Um, so, this is going to be the start of the next vlog, Friday, 31st of October. Oh, Halloween? Yeah, um, I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to play the vlog structures by ear a little bit, because all of a sudden uh, it's oh wait hang on a second no because it gets uploaded on Saturdays doesn't it this is not the start of the next vlog it's not even Friday it's Thursday I've lost a day <laughs> it's Thursday the 31st of October so this will go on and then the vlog gets uploaded on Saturday right forget it new intro Hello, welcome to Thursday the 31st of October. I hope everyone's doing well on this grey and miserable morning. Because I'm not doing too badly. I um, am off to work. It's been a long time since I've been uh, up and active at this time in the morning. Actually, no, it hasn't. Because I was up and active around this time in the morning for my graduation. Admittedly, the weather was a little bit nicer. But we're not complaining. I uh, am heading off into uni again to do my techie work and all that sort of stuff. Um, looking forward to it, it's going to be good. Oh, I need to sort that out. Sorry, personal space and all that, I know. But my other hand has got my bottle of water in it. And I can't... It, it'll look even weirder. So I'm not going to bother. Oh yes, no, it's quite chilly out. I'm going to need to work on warming myself up before I leave the house in the morning now. Hopefully the trains are running alright. They were pretty naff yesterday, as, as they normally are. Right. I, I don't like trains. I think trains, I, they're great if they're done right. And here in England, they're not done right at all. What you should do with trains right, is they should be designed to work outside. Because that's where they are. And they don't work outside. Some leaves get on the tracks. Oh, delays. Uh, it rains too much, snows too much, mm, delays. Uh, if you're going to have something that it lives outside, make it so that it works outside. Uh, you don't build an umbrella out of paper, because that wouldn't work. You know, first time you use it, it breaks. What you do is you build it out of waterproof material, because that's how it works. Okay, with, I'm going to need to try this. There we go. With trains, right, if you put some fans underneath, it would blow all the leaves off the tracks. It would put a plow, put a plow or something on the front. Pushes all the snow off. That's all you need to do. It's as simple as that. On the, right, or for when it rains. You know, that's a bit harder to deal with, but they're not as affected by rain. But for leaves, you just have extractor fans, okay? You've got fans that suck air into the train to keep it ventilated. You have fans that suck it out as well. Blow it onto the track, blows all the leaves away. Job done. Put a plough on the front, pushes all the snow out of the way. I'm fairly certain there's trains that do that in Scandinavia anyway. It's simple. And I don't know why people haven't thought of doing it yet. It would fix the trains, everyone would be happier. I'd still hate them because they're too crowded, but, you know, what can you do? 
Also, there's Southeastern Trains, and Southeastern Trains have been voted the worst train company in the country several times, and um, it's not hard to see why, really. They, they are pretty shocking. Anyway, I shall see you later on. Now I've had my morning moan. How was it today? All good. Uh, nothing really bad about today, really. Uh, I don't think. Um, yeah, all going well. I, I have a feeling that I'm really going to enjoy uh, working this year. It's, uh, oops, Daisy. It's going to be good. It really is. Uh, feeling geared up for it, which is great because I never really felt geared up and you know good and motivated for a job like I am at the moment, which is good. You know, maybe I've found my calling. Cliche as it sounds. Um, keeping an open mind, but definitely having a good time, which is important. So, I'll see you tomorrow for a vlog. Oh, keep on always saying that. I really need to get out of the habit. I'll uh, see you in... Mind you, actually, you know, it does kind of make sense. I should stop berating myself for it, really. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for another vlog. I don't know how to end it. I'll see you... I'll see you tomorrow, but you'll see me in a few seconds. Something like that, but that sounds like a cheesy news sign-off. I don't know. Friday the 1st of November is what today is. Yesterday night, Halloween night, is uh, normally a night that I really hate. Because I, I really don't like Halloween. Not because I'm particularly scared of anything, just because I find it a pointless observation of the year. It's just a redundant day. It should only really be recognised as another day. You know, it's, it's pointless and ridiculous and I don't, I'm not a fan of it for those reasons. Um, and also you get all the kids coming up and go asking for sweets and stuff and it's just, no, be gone, beggar children. You know, all that sort of thing. Um, but it turns out we didn't get any yesterday, which is a bonus, you know, certainly made my, my night a bit nicer, because I didn't have to open the door to them and give them stuff. But today is now the 1st of November, which means we're not far away from the, that point in time that no one really wants, but everyone enjoys anyway. Yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll get today out of the way first. Um, a bunch of exams that need to be done today that uh, we've been rehearsing for since since I started, since Wednesday. So hopefully those should all go down all right. Um, and obviously I'll let you know a little bit later on. So uh, yeah, I'll see you later, I guess. So ends the week, but, um, pretty much. <laughs> it's uh, it's been a good week today. All, all good as always. Um, I'm not really sure what else I can really add. Uh, it's, it's still going great. It's still enjoying it um, because I'm an assistant. The technician, the actual technician, uh, in the next few weeks is gonna leave because his wife's gonna have a baby uh, which leaves me fully in control of the reins which I'm uh, excited about but a little bit anxious about as well as you can imagine um, there's a lot of a lot of equipment that needs to be secured and locked up and all that and you know I'm confident about it all and stuff but it's uh, it's gonna be exciting um, 
but that's that's gonna wrap things up for real this time for this vlog I'll uh, see you tomorrow for real for another one tomorrow uh, I'm not teaching tomorrow but we are doing the night shift at O'Neill's and it's the last it's the last night that they're gonna be celebrating Halloween down there I think Thursday Friday Saturday with their Halloween nights um, so I've got to dress up a little bit tomorrow and I don't really know what I'm going to do we'll think of something I'm sure but um, I'll see you then bye bye